everyone and welcome to this series of practice problems about electromechanical energy conversion and this is the second question about uh, transformers so in, in this question it says that the secondary winding of the transformer has a terminal voltage so your vs is equal to 282.8 cosine uh, 377 t and the ratio of the transformer is given to us and also the secondary current of the transformer is given to us also as a time domain uh, value. What is the primary current? So we wanted to find I, IP and what are its voltage regulation and efficiency. We are given everything referred to the primary side of the transformer. So these values, the R equivalent, the X equivalent, RC, XM are already given to us, referred to the, to the primary. So we don't need to do any model conversion here because everything given to the primary. And as you notice here, the model is also referred to the primary. So we have AVS and IS over, over A. Okay, so the first thing we want to find is to find the the primary primary currents. So first we need to convert everything from the peak value to the RMS value. So our VS is equal to the peak value is 282.8 divided by root two, and this will be an angle of zero. So this is equal to 200 angle of zero. Now the voltage in the model referred to the primary is AVS. So my AVS, will equal to the A is 0.5 times the 200 angle of zero, and this is give me 100 angle of zero. Now let's find the current. My IS is equal to 7.07, .07, and the angle is the minus 36.87 divided by root two, and this will give me five angle of minus 36.87 and hence my is over a will equal to we multiply this by two so this becomes 10 angle of minus 36.87 amps and of course this is this is volt okay so now we know is over a we know vs a very simple kvl here to find the primary voltage so my vp is equal to my avs plus my is over a times r equivalent plus jx equivalent as i said everything here is set to the primary so i don't know need to do any conversion so this is equal to 100 angle of zero for avs plus is over a 10 angle of minus 36.87 times r equivalent and x equivalent 0 0.2 plus j 0.8 if we do that you will find that your vp is equal to 106 0.5 angle of 2.8 volt so this is your vp now why we need vp because we want to find these two current ic and im why because I, I want to find ip ip is equal to the is over a plus these two currents which we call them together as the excitation current okay so my ip is equal to my is over a which i know plus my i excitation which is equal to is over a plus what is my i excitation it is the vb we just calculated divided by rc plus the same voltage vb divided by jx xm okay perfect so this is uh, will be equal uh, to 10 angle of minus 36.87 your is over a plus now my vb 106.5 angle 2.8 divided by rc which is given to us in the question this is my R, rc and this is my xm 
plus the same voltage because these two are in parallel 106.5 angle of 2.8 divided by j 100 now when you do all of this you will find that your current is equal to 11 angle of minus 40 amp so this is my primary current and this is the first thing we want to to find second we want to find the voltage regulation the voltage regulation is v no load minus v full load divided by v full load but my v no load is the vp my v full load is a v s divided by a v s and we have all the values we here here we just take the magnitude so it's 106.5 for my vp minus 100 divided by 100 and to make this is as a percentage you multiply by 100 and this will give me 6.5 percent now for my efficiency which is my p out over p in now p out is the output at the secondary my p n is the out the input at the primary my p out is the voltage the avs times the current is over a times the power factor which is cosine theta vs minus theta is divided by my uh, input power uh, which is VP, my VP, which is equal to uh, it's, it's my VP and my IP cosine theta VP minus theta IP. This is my input power from this side. Now, if you do the um, substitution of everything, so this is equal to 100 for AVS times. 10 is over a cosine the voltage angle uh, was uh, equal to zero and the current is minus 36.87 this is we're given in the question divided by what we calculated so the vp is 106.5 and the ip we just calculated that is equal to 11 cosine theta v which is 2.8 minus the angle of the current which is minus 40 and we'll find that is equal to 800 divided by 860 times 100 and this will give me an efficiency equal to 93 percent